Do your job, make your opinions, and, and scrutinize, but we're not worried about your opinions. And we're not going back and, you know, worried and having sleepless nights worrying about what you guys are saying about our offense. And there needs to be a separation between what you guys think about us and what we feel about ourselves. Because our expectations and our opinions of each other and the offense is way more important than your opinion of us. To us. All right, Jason, you really believe Rodgers doesn't care about criticism. Well, I did until I looked at that video. And he looked like a guy on the ropes trying to keep the media off of him. And so, yes, he's bothered, but he's bothered for a different reason. Everybody's talking about Aaron Rodgers. Everybody's talking about Mike McCarthy. Everybody's talking about the offensive line. What's wrong with the Packers offense? And it's so obvious. One thing changed in February of 2015 that no one wants to talk about. The offensive coordinator changed, Edgar Bennett. And you need a microscope to find his name anywhere and a hearing aid to hear anybody talking about the new offensive coordinator who was the receivers coach, who the receivers are playing less or, or less effectively since he left, and the offense is playing more poorly since he arrived as the offensive coordinator. So he was probably a great wide receiver coach, yes. but he's not quite ready for to a To run of the meetings in the practice. I mean, McCarthy's calling the plays, but in terms of the overall preparation of the team through the week, he's probably struggling, and everybody's talking about Aaron Rodgers. And also, I would say this. Uh, you and I are probably somewhat numb to criticism because we've been criticized. We're opinion <laughs> Right. But the first criticism is the harshest. It's the first time Aaron has received criticism. You know, when, when you are a guy that has lived in that cycle, being a columnist or a quarterback, it's easier to take, but that first criticism lands, and you don't know. I once asked somebody in my business about a certain broadcaster, and I said, he's kind of thin-skinned. And he said, yeah, because nobody's ever criticized him. Aaron's gotten kind of coddled by the media. There's some truth to what you're saying. He did go through sitting on the bench for a few years waiting for Favre. That's some adversity. But I hear what you're saying. Tiger Woods got punched in the mouth with some criticism, and he's never gotten off of the mat. That's right. Uh, Phil Mickelson, for years, was criticized for whiffing on majors, and he's okay with it. You know what I mean? He's okay with the criticism. Listen, and again, we've had Ray Lewis on this show. He's a he, Some guys are built for criticism and can continue to be great. Some guys struggle with it.